And um, tonight's music, we are doing uh, the uh, overture of Beethoven's Overture to Egmont, which is uh, also about oppression and occupation. And uh, in fact, it's a very interesting story. The, the music tells a story, it's actually historical, um, of uh, people who are under occupation and oppression. And they try to struggle to, you know, to, f to fight their way, luchar with violencia. And it doesn't work. As we know in real life also, violence doesn't work ultimately. But uh, the struggle, the, the violent part of the struggle collapses. And at some point you will hear the music sort of collapses, there is a silence. And the silence, in that silence you can hear the original condition, the original state of the problem. And out of, a, of the listening of, a composite, of Beethoven to the original, out of the listening of musicians, out of the listening of the audience, something happens. The thing starts, something opens up and grows, and a new possibility emerges. A new kind of liberation, a new freedom, which now includes all the people. It sounds a little bit crazy because it's not just for the victims. It's also freedom for the oppressor. It's freedom for the dictator because the dictator was a prisoner of his own, of their own. The oppressive forces were also, uh, and it's a, it's a vision that goes beyond justice. It's a vision that goes into the future where everybody is is embraced. And you can hear this. And you can hear for a brief moment in the middle of the great party, in the middle of the great celebration, in the coda of the overture, you will hear the music of the, the bad times. You will hear the music of the oppression also included. Mm -hmm. And so we are talking about, Beethoven seems to be saying that real freedom real happiness as a community, real fulfillment, real love is only possible when everybody is included. Okay.